this is a case of the horse already bolting, which is really annoying. Did a whole video on this uh, this project and realized that the microphone wasn't on. So lovely video, well I think it was quite nice, and completely silent. So that's not great. <laughs> anyway, so I've got a carriage clock here. So let's try and do a, a simple recap. So started off with this, which is a uh, ordinary Zalman fan, just an unused fan. And I wanted it as a, a um, extractor fan for the fumes from the soldering iron. And I was gonna put that on the front there, so to protect it a little bit, maybe two layers, one on each side. And that was all gonna be nice, but it's a bit crappy. You know, it's, it doesn't really stand up very well. I need to make a base, whatever. Anyway, uh, a bunch of clocks turned up and they're all terrible. And this one caught my eye. So he's terrible, but imagine that was in there, in my former video, uh, that was in there and the, it was full of corrosion, it was just no good. So I pulled that out and I had a fan uh, from, a, from another, I think it was, a, it was a big power supply that it came out of. And um, it had several of these fans and it's, it's a small, small fan, tiny little thing, 12 volt. Um, and I basically just took this module out, um, <coughs> uh, filed down the edges of that um, cut this to size uh, and there's there's sort of a lip inside there and then I'm, I mounted that in so uh, I think that looks really quite smart anyway let's go on to the the next video where I actually start doing it and I had the microphone on because that would be very useful ah oh, the joys all right so I've got this thing here which is the a uh, inline power adapter power jack so that's going to be useful I think let's just uh, let's just cool down a bit now but when that's ready yeah I'm gonna <clears throat> tin those leads get hold of some shrink wrap some heat shrink um, and just mount that in there And then what I'm going to do, so I, I actually mounted it up already, but there was there was a problem with the with the um, cable for some reason. I had to redo it, so I've had to remove that, which is a very which is very annoying. There you go. Uh, I might use the other one. So that goes into there like that, and then we glue the glue it all down. I had it looking lovely, but it didn't work. So hey ho, I have to redo it. That's fine. It is what it is. Sometimes these things are sent to try us. Now I can't find my magnifiers. Oh, flipping heck. Where's it gone? these leads get that bit done I'm not going to bother with a switch or anything like that it's there's kind of no point really I'll just have a, the I just have the adapter and I can plug it and unplug it as I need all right bring in this thing now it's a slightly weird sort of reverse polarity Styly, so I've watched that. For now that'll do. Okay, so that's that. Let's just quickly test it, make sure it works. There you go. So that's a six volt power supply, actually. 
is pretty good. It might even be 9 volt, I'm not sure. There's a lot of air coming out of there. So now we've got to assemble the thing. Let's get this stuff out of the way. So the idea... Actually, I'm going to need that. Let's put that over there. Is I'm going to mount this... that way. I'm going to mount that in there like that. All right, so that that will stick out the bottom, and that's fine. And I I don't think I'm going to cover the back. I did test it with that, but it didn't really work. So what I'm going to do now is get some lumps of hot melt glue inside there. I should use my gun really, but this is just faster. I just need a little bit on there. So that'll stick it to the inside rim. Okay. Oh, that's now cool enough. I'll just get this excess out of there. That's good. Right. So that's going to go in there like that. And I'm going to do something a bit weird. I'm going to move that like that. Hot melt glue on there. Hot melt glue on there. And quickly get that. into there like that all right and then I'm going to add some more okay that's a bit that's one bit put another bit opposite that Is it? Okay. Get the straggly bits off. Right, so there it is. That's alright. Let's put the let's put it to the test. Oh I've turned turn that off. Okay, so there it is. All looking very nice, very stylish. Let's just test it and see. So I've got oh, and some solder in. Hey, check it out. That's all right, isn't it? I mean, I could, I could, I could have made a bigger one that was, you know, more capable, I guess. But to be fair, it's not going to look as styly as that. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. That's nice. A nice bit of kit yeah and that power supply that's, that's that's with it i mean that is a that is a fairly standard power supply but i don't do anything too flash and what's great that says that's uh, six volt apparently so it can go, can go higher but it's tiny you know that's really nice yeah so if you've got a hideous carriage clock then um, maybe you could turn it to something useful, like a styly solder extractor fan. Nice. I'm going to keep that that open at the back. Um, I did actually test it with with that on there as well, but it reduces the airflow. And to be honest, you know, it is what it is. Um, it looks nice from the front. Yeah, why not? Cool. Thing is, there was actually a shield there to stop some fingers going in. So that's not so bad. It's really the front bit that's that is not protected. So you need something. Uh, but I think that's quite a nice little build. Cool. See you next time. Cheers.